Brian Laundrie's demonic artwork analyzed by psychologist who says sociopaths will act on violent images. Brian Laundrie's disturbing artwork has been analyzed by a psychologist who revealed it's rare to act on violent images. Dr. Orna Goralnik, a clinical psychologist and psychoanalyst from New York, analyzed his work and exclusively told The Sun that sociopaths will act on violent images. Dr. Orna Goralnik said many people translate difficult feelings into violent images credit, Instagram, is our underscore design underscore. Human remains were discovered near items belonging to Brian Laundrie, according to the FBI credit, Instagram. It came as human remains were discovered in the hunt for laundry weeks after the murder of his fiancée Gabby Petito. Dr. Goralnik was featured on Showtime's documentary series Couples Therapy earlier this year, where she worked with various couples in their troubled relationships. She added, many people translate difficult feelings that they have inside to violent images. Many people translate bad feelings into violent motifs. Then there can be people in the throes of various mental illnesses that can be kind of bombarded with violent images that are representations of how they feel inside. Laundry shared numerous art pieces that featured blood, knives and violence to social media. The fugitive noted he suffers from an anxiety disorder, which he does not take his prescribed medication for, but has not been officially linked to other mental disorders. Dr. Goralnik claims that she believes Laundry killed his fiancée Gabby, revealing the fugitive is either extremely sociopathic or mentally ill. Laundry displayed sociopathic behavior when the couple was pulled over by Moab police on August 12, the psychologist mentioned. He knew how to play with the cops, he knew how to be charming. Sociopaths are good at reading a certain aspect of their environment and creating a certain kind of ease and creating a certain vibe that helps them get away with whatever they need to get away with. Dr. Goralnik believes a particular, very small subset population will actually go and act on these images and based on the provided evidence and background information, laundry is classified in that small group. Internet detectives claim to have found clues in laundry's social media accounts that point to drug use. On the 23-year-old's Pinterest page, there claim to be pictures of LSD tabs decorated with characters from the cartoon Adventure Time. When asked whether drug use could have played a role in Gabby's death, a forensic psychologist verified by the site claimed that it would depend on how much and how frequently he was using drugs. Dr. Dan Field, an expert witness in strangulation and homicide cases, said killing someone by strangulation is a long, deliberate process. He said it takes roughly between 62 and 157 seconds. Dr. Field said victims can lose consciousness within the first 5 to 10 seconds while being strangled, from a combination of lack of oxygen, reflexes, and the obstruction of blood flow. Seizures can occur between 11 and 17 seconds, and by 30 seconds, they lose control of other organs. It is surprisingly quick, but it's not a moment, Dr. Field told Fox News. The coroner, Dr. Brent Blue, said Gabby was killed three to four weeks before her body was found and was outside in the wilderness for this time. But Dr. Field said some clues would have remained on Gabby's body. He said there would be a broken hyoid bone in the victim's neck, bleeding within the muscles of the neck, or damage to the carotid artery or jugular. Laundry vanished from his parents' home on September 13, the family's lawyer confirmed. Gabby's remains were discovered in rural Wyoming on September 19. On Thursday, September 23, the FBI issued a warrant for Laundrie's arrest, claiming he used unauthorized debit cards after Gabby Petito's death. On October 12, 2021, Dr. Blue confirmed that Gabby's cause of death was due to strangulation. She died as a result of homicide. The body was outside in the wilderness for this time. Laundry's Instagram page was filled with all kinds of disturbing and violent drawings. The remains of his fiancée Gabby Petito were found on September 19 credit, Instagram slash Brian Laundry. How Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry were locked in a spell state with S&M, dynamics common in abusive relationships.